Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we are looking at the BG VP DX5. As you can see, these are um, earbuds. This is the unit themselves. They're very unique looking. What you have is a 14.2 millimeter uh, DLC dynamic. Sensitivity is 111 decibels. 30 ohms, which is unusual, usually it's 32, um, 10 to 45 kilohertz, and 8 milliwatts. So that's the specs. Here's the unit themselves. A very unique, really nice in my opinion. A nice looking design, definitely not your standard looking pair of earbuds. MMCX connection. Uh, a remote with a mic. It terminates to this also very unique looking uh, tube like L connector. Uh, decent cable. Very decent cable. Good microphone by the way. Used in calls. Here's your box. You get a nice box. Nice well uh, presented. Um, the units would be right here in the box with the cable. And accessories would be right here. It's a nice hard shell box and we have rings we have ear hooks which I don't think I've ever gotten a pair of earbuds with ear hooks before and we have foam we have different colors we have the white the black a bunch of different sets there's blue which are on them right now because I thought they looked pretty uh, and that's basically what you get I mean you get a lot of stuff you remember, these are a value uh, earbud. These are, these are under a hundred dollars. Um, I'm not sure of the price right now. Um, I did see them for like forty bucks, I think. Uh, I can't uh, quote that. I haven't seen the price. Um, I should have looked it up. But how do they sound? These are not going to be for the bass heads. They do have a good bass. Uh, it's controlled. It's uh, thumpy. Depending on the fit. Remember, earbuds, the sound is always subjectable. Because if if you they don't fit right, they're going to sound awful. And if they do fit right and you get them in, they'll sound normal. And if you can really fit them in your ears, then they'll actually have a lot more bass and uh, you can hear them even better. These are smaller, so they fit in my ears uh, a lot better. I was able to use these for a longer period of time. Um, these are probably, um, fit-wise, my favorite pair. Uh, Sound-wise, that would still be the moon drops, but these still sound excellent. These are a mid-centered, uh, um, more in vocals uh, type of earbuds. Uh, the bass is uh, does have some punch to it, but uh, it's definitely not a very loud, thumpy bass. Um, the highs uh, slightly uh, veiled. They do have some sparkle, uh, and they definitely have some really nice details to them. Uh, overall, the transitions from the mids to the highs are very smooth. Uh, the bass uh, does not obviously bleed into the mids because it's not that bassy. Um, they're a very good pair and they're totally solidly built. Removable cable which is the first pair that I've had. I mean I, the other pair was $300 and that cable isn't removable. This pair under 100 and has a removable cable. Just saying Moondrop. Think about it. Uh, like to see the next iteration from you have a removable Cable, uh, probably MMCX would work better for earbuds than 2-pin. Um, beautiful designed. The cable is matching. Everything on the cable matches. It's all aluminum build, uh, so it feels quite sturdy. But it is also very, um, very lightweight. Uh, fits in my ear very good because of the smaller size of the uh, circle itself has a nice cable, has a nice microphone. I think you can get it without a microphone too if you don't want that. 
but it is a MMCX, so you can change out the cable anytime you want to any type of cable. Comes with a ton of accessories, a nice box, a nice case, which the $160, oh, there's more pads in there too. Uh, the $160 uh, uh, BGVPs, uh, the, the uh, DMS, didn't have a case. That was an in air monitor. And uh, I was like, oh, it doesn't have a case. That's the first expensive pair that didn't have a case. These actually come with a case. Um, I like these. I gotta say, I like these. Um, vocal wise, uh, watching, say, a movie. I watched a movie and I actually played uh, Dark Souls with these. Um, obviously, with the bass. It's not going to be good for first-person shooters, but for the atmosphere and the sound effects and footsteps and everything else that were in um, the video game, it was actually really good for that. Um, you know, I think I'm speaking a little too fast. If, if I am, I apologize. I have no AC and it is hot in here and I have the fan off so you can hear me better. And I'm just, I'm melting. So, <laughs> anyway, try to slow it down a little bit. Uh, decent highs, slightly veiled. Mids, extremely detailed, smooth, and clear. Um, from the upper mids and the lower mids, there's a smooth transition right from the right through the mids to the highs. There's no sibilance. Uh, instruments are, are very very good. This has very good imaging and very good uh, uh, sound stage. Although it's not overly wide, it is definitely there. It's natural. Uh, it's a full sound stage, and uh, they have a very open feeling sound to them. But the earbuds, and I don't know of any earbuds that don't have an open feeling sound to them. Uh, just just claim it there. You get a ton of accessories. You get a really unique pairing, uh, appearing looking uh, earbuds, and it has a nice cable to it. Uh, the cable is replaceable. This unit comes with the microphone, which works well, and the remote. Uh, all the pads you need, except for silicone. I would have liked to see silicone in the box. Silicone should be included, and wings should be included with every pair you buy that's over twenty dollars I mean if they're over twenty bucks you should automatically get that stuff for them I think just just in my opinion um, the air hooks I haven't used I, I really want to try those out uh, whether I try these out on these or another pair I'm definitely going to try those out and see how that works out uh, fit is going to be different for everybody some people have bigger openings in their ears some people have smaller these are on the smaller side I think for most people they'll either fit or they'll uh, not fit because they're earbuds and that's the uh, deal with earbuds you know in ear monitors you can pop out the tips put in some foam and poof they're gonna stay in your ears so if you're into earbuds and you're into vocals and you're in the mids uh, this is definitely definitely a really nice sounding uh, pair of earbuds and uh, definitely can recommend them for somebody looking for that particular type of signature. If you're looking for bass, uh, you'd have to look somewhere else. Definitely. Uh, the bass is just more analytical than it is pounding. Um, so this has been the BGVP DX5. And I've enjoyed them. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope this was informative, and I will see you somewhere out on the internet. Thank you.